How many different ways do you, your friends, and your family know about making money? Most people only have one source of income, usually from their job. But rich people don't rely on just one source. Unlike many working class people who only earn money when they're on the clock, the average millionaire has seven different sources of income. How do they do it? They know about many ways to make money that most people don't. To become financially independent, you need to have money work for you, not just work for money. If you enjoy videos about money, personal finance and business, all topics that will help you better your financial future, consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification icon to be notified of new videos. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. The first and most common source of income is earned income. Earned income is the money you make by working. This includes your salary from a job, wages from working for someone, or payments for freelance work. It's the most common way people earn money and is the starting point for most self-made millionaires. This income helps them sustain their lives and provides the boost they need to explore other income sources, which we'll talk about later. Most millionaires are CEOs of multiple companies. This doesn't always mean they own these companies, they might just be employed to work in that role. For regular people, earned income comes from jobs or freelancing. Remember, a job often means just over broke, because the earnings are typically just enough to pay bills and get by. There's a cap on how much you can earn from a job, because it's tied to your capacity to work. For example, there are only 24 hours in a day, if you have a job that pays $40 an hour and you work 10 hours a day, you can only make $400 a day. You can't increase your income beyond the hours available in a day, which limits how much you can earn. Earned income is heavily taxed. In the US, the average tax rate is about 40%, meaning nearly half of your income goes to the government. Ouch! Many people become comfortable with their jobs and wages, which holds them back from reaching their full potential. Once they settle into this comfort zone, they rely on their paycheck and often use credit cards for expenses beyond that, creating more financial problems. It's almost impossible to become a millionaire from just your job paycheck alone. To achieve significant wealth, you need to invest wisely and create other income streams, which we'll discuss next. The second stream of income is profit income. Profit income is money made by selling products or services for more than it costs to make them. This income type is common when transitioning from being an employee to becoming an entrepreneur. In the past, starting a business required a significant investment, but the internet has made it much easier today. Whether you're selling physical or digital products, if you sell them for a higher price than the cost to produce or buy, you're making a profit. Active versus passive profit. Income profit income can be either active or passive, depending on your business model. If you make and sell products yourself, it's considered active income. This method can be more challenging to scale. If you create the design and have a manufacturer produce the product, or if you sell digital products, it can become passive income. This method has higher scalability potential. There are two main types of profit income, individual or small scale. This involves creating products yourself or flipping products on platforms like eBay or Facebook Marketplace. It's a good way to add an extra income source, but is typically smaller in scale. Scalable business. This involves establishing a business where a manufacturer produces your products, freeing your time to focus on sales and marketing. Digital products are an excellent example of a highly scalable business because they don't require storage, shipping, or ongoing manufacturing. If you're creating or flipping products on a small scale, you'll likely be taxed the same as earned income. If you build a business, you might benefit from various tax breaks by forming a company or corporation. In summary, profit income can be a significant source of revenue, especially with the potential for scalability and tax advantages in a business structure. The third income category is interest income. Interest income is earned by lending money to someone in exchange for a fee, known as interest. The amount of interest received depends on how long the money is lent and the purpose for which it's used. For instance, lending money to an investor for a quick house flip typically earns higher interest rates compared to lending for the purchase of a rental property, 
which is held for a longer period. Interest income can take various forms. Investment loans, lending money to individuals starting a business or buying assets like cars. Savings accounts, depositing money in a bank account where the bank pays interest on the balance. Government securities, lending money to the government through treasury bills, payday loans, providing short-term loans to individuals, typically repaid with their next paycheck. Interest income can be passive once the arrangement is made requiring no further effort apart from acquiring the initial funds. However, the earning potential is limited by the amount available to lend and the interest rates agreed upon with borrowers. In summary, interest income offers a passive way to earn money by lending funds to others with the potential for various terms and rates depending on the lending arrangement. One of the most secure four dividend incomes Dividend income is when you invest in stocks that pay part of their profits to their shareholders. When you buy a stock in a company, you become a shareholder. Whenever the company that you've invested in reports profits, they will send a check to their shareholders, typically every quarter. As a shareholder, you are part owner of the company. So in companies that distribute dividends, you get a portion of the company's profits. Now, depending on what type of dividend you have, you can pay a lower tax rate with qualified dividends. If you make less than $38,600 in ordinary income, you pay 0% taxes on your dividend income. And it tops off at 20% if you make over $425,000, which is much lower than earned income, which can go up to a 40% tax rate. Number five is rental income. Rental income is the money earned by leasing out a property that you own. This property could be anything from office space, parking space, a residential home, or even an entire building. The rented property might serve commercial or residential purposes. In the past, getting into rental investments required significant capital investment. You would typically need to purchase a property like a house or an apartment to lease it out for rental income. However, today, with platforms like Airbnb or Booking.com, Individuals are making substantial income by leasing homes and renting them out to travelers. This doesn't necessarily require ownership of the property. Rather, it involves agreements with property owners. While this model is primarily used for residential properties, advancements in this field may soon open up opportunities for other types of properties. Venturing into rental income can be a lucrative way to boost your bank account. With the right approach and utilization of modern platforms, you can potentially earn significant income from renting out properties you don't even own outright. Number six, capital gains. Capital gains income is earned from the sale of an asset that has increased in value over time. This can include various assets, such as a home, stocks, or even collectibles like antique cars. When you sell such an asset for a higher price than what you paid for it, the profit you make is considered capital gains income. For instance, if you bought a house for $300,000 and later sold it for $500,000, the $200,000 profit would be considered capital gains income. Similarly, if you purchased stocks for $1,000 and sold them later for $1,500, the $500 profit would also count as capital gains income. Unlike some other forms of income, capital gains can only be realized when the asset is sold at a profit. For example, if your stocks double in value, you won't make money until you sell them. This means that the potential income from capital gains is tied to your ability to buy and sell assets, which may limit its passive nature to some extent. Number seven, royalty income. Royalty income is a type of income that continues to flow even after the work has been completed. This happens when you allow others to use your ideas or creations, such as music, books, or other intellectual property, in exchange for payment. For instance, if you're a musician, you can earn royalties every time your song is played on streaming platforms or purchased by listeners. Similarly, authors receive royalties when their books are sold, even years after the initial publication. One interesting aspect of royalty income is that it can come from various sources related to the same property. Take the example of author J.K. Rowling, who not only earns royalties from book sales, but also from movie adaptations and merchandise based on her characters. Even though it's been decades since the first Harry Potter book was released, 
Rolling continues to receive royalty payments as long as people are buying related products or watching the movies. This is because these products are based on her original creations, entitling her to ongoing payments. If you want to see more of these, please let us know.